Yo, what's up everybody? This is Henry here and thank you for tuning in. Now guys, the purpose of today's video is for men that simps on women, subscribes to the OnlyFans, get pushed around by women or their girlfriend, soy boys, beta, blue pill, etc. Alright, um, I want to give a shout out to Fresh and Fit Podcast. Uh, we will be watching them. It is a long clip and basically... Uh, this clip is here to help a lot of people and to spread the word. They specifically don't care about us, you know, clipping their content because the more the merrier and more men needs to uh, uh, hear hear this for they can wake up and for they can stop putting women on pedestals that doesn't deserve it. And basically, I'm basically asking you guys to share this video as well. Like it, sus uh, subscribe to me and to and uh check out my description below and you can also subscribe to fresh and fit podcast as well and basically they just don't talk about women and stuff they talk about about other things like investing real estate um crypto credit cards etc you know yeah, fitness as well basically uh they talk to you about becoming a better man that's it so anyway guys um my last words um in my opinion yes simping is a big thing in today's uh the climate and it's bad it's very unhealthy for both genders especially men and it causes women to treat us like shit so we kind of made the bed now we gotta lie in it until we can fix it <laughs> so other than that guys um i hope you enjoyed the video again it's pretty long so sorry about that and put some headphones on too if you're at work so other than that um i'll catch you guys later peace and uh, how much did he spend on her bills? I can't read that there. 107,000. 107,000. Wow. God damn, bro. Fuck. His name is Lamar? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it, yeah, I guess maybe that's like a fake name or some shit like that. But yeah, and this girl, Charlotte Parks or whatever the fuck her name is, uh, saying he's been my number one spender this too. And I want you guys to pay attention to the emojis. What does she do? The crying, laughing emojis at him. And yeah, she has a full a full face of makeup. And she, I this think girl guys is, don't understand. Bro, these girls don't you care about. And then look, and then see, look. I ran to my number one spender on OnlyFans, and then look, she also has a crying emoji, Ruby Rose. Scroll down a bit. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Emoji. Like they're all laughing yeah. at him. But guys don't understand. If you sub to OnlyFans, the girl that you're talking to, the girl you hope you're, that you're gonna be with, doesn't even like you at all. Actually, they laugh at you all day, and um, you're spending money on them for no reason. So it, it's sad, bro. But this is a reality for most people. Um, that look so, that lifestyle. Um, <sighs> what do you think about this, bro? I mean. Obviously, I know what you think, but like, you want to tell, tell them how you feel? Yeah. Um, so, uh, about a year ago, man, uh, I had the idea where I was like, yo, I'm going to write a book, Why Women Deserve Less, right? Mm -hmm. And a big part of the reason why I wrote this book was because of the lack of reciprocation of women showing men affection, respect, a uh, admiration, etc., uh, compared to the level of uh, respect, admiration, and resources that men give women, right? We live in a in a time nowadays where the average woman does not respect the average man because the average woman is able to garner far more resources, far more attention, far more opportunities than the average man is able to garner. That's just a fact of the of of what's going on nowadays. Men used to be respected. Nowadays, they're admonished. If you're a blue worker, uh, a blue collar worker, mm. right? You work at a steel mill. You have a respectable job. You're an electrician, etc. Women don't respect that anymore. Yeah. Right. Um, and the reason why is because they have their own jobs. They think sitting in an air conditioned office making 50k per year, you know, while you're working a real job making 100k per year, they still think that they're better than you. And then you want to take it to the next level where you got you got these sex worker type chicks on the internet, literally degrading themselves, still thinking they're better than you, right? And I wrote this book so that men could wake up and understand the new normal that we currently live in, the new sexual marketplace where women don't respect men in general. Mm. And since women don't respect men in general, men need to adapt and move differently. Tradcons get angry at me. Oh, you're a misogynist. You're an asshole. You're telling guys to date women from a defensive stance. You're making it very adversarial. Well, guess what, motherfucker? It is adversarial. I want guys to give women less because women, most women do deserve less. Does every single girl deserve less? Absolutely not. But a majority of them do, okay? And if guys don't come in giving women less up front, they're going to do stupid shit like this and treat them poorly. 
what you guys are experiencing right now, obviously at a crazy level, is when you give women good treatment, like these guys are doing, right? Which where they're simping, right? They're giving way too much good treatment. Women don't respect it. As a matter of fact, they laugh at it and they ridicule you. This guy probably has some type of mental disorder. Something's wrong with this guy. Yeah. Maybe he lacks confidence. Maybe he lacks friends. Maybe he lacks some type of support group or whatever it is. But Ruby Rose went ahead and said, you know what? This guy spent 100 100K on me. Instead of me just holding these text messages in and being like, I, I, even though this guy's a little weird, I'm appreciative though that someone actually gives a fuck about me to this degree and is spending this kind of money on me and giving this, me this kind of attention. Let me put him on fucking blast. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I've told y'all this a million times. I'm going to say it again. Women have an abundance mindset to another fucking level. The fact that she has the gall, the audacity to put up the text messages, the private text messages between her mm -hmm. and a fan that spent a lot of money on her, by the way, to embarrass and ridicule him tells you the current marketplace temperature when it comes to male and female relations, okay? Even if you put her on a pedestal like this motherfucker did to the highest level, they will never, ever fucking respect it. They're going to treat you like shit. They're going to ridicule you. They're going to make you look fucking crazy. So the only thing you can do is adapt to the new normal, baby. You got to fucking give these girls less and put some fucking respect on your name. That's what you got to do. That's what you have to do. Guys need to start dating from a defensive standpoint and assume every single girl's a whore. Yes, I'm, yes, I fucking said it. Assume she's a whore unless she proves to you otherwise. Because the reality is, the way things are, girls think that they're better than you, man. I'm telling y'all. There's girls on TikTok right now mm -hmm. putting out text messages of themselves with other guys making fun of guys. It's okay and totally socially acceptable to shit on men in 2023. It's completely cool. As a matter of fact, you grow in the algorithm when you do it. Yeah. People say, well, Myron, you shit on women. Well, here's the thing. Most women deserve to be shit on because they've been shitting on men for fucking decades. Since the beginning of feminism, since the fucking 60s, girls have been running around saying, we're power, we're, you know, women power, we're strong, we're independent, blah, blah, blah. Shitting on men for fucking decades. Men have been emasculated, we've been getting shitted on, we've been getting shit on with sitcoms. They're going ahead, making um, traditionally masculine characters female now. You look at the new Grand Theft Auto, why is it a female character? Why did they want a black James Bond female? Why did they have the Terminator lead character be a fucking woman? Why are they continuously destroying naturally masculine things for this new feminized propaganda. It's because they're trying to destroy masculinity in the West in general. Yeah. Because when you destroy the men, you're able to conquer society. Why? Because women, right? If you tell them, hey, take the jab. Hey, sit in your house and put a mask on. What are they going to do a lot of times? Okay, I will obey. I will obey. Because women aren't leaders. Okay? If you take away the men and all you leave is a bunch of masculine ass females, you can dominate the society. And that's what the fuck is going on right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? And when you see shit like this, this is the beginning of it. You got guys like over here pedestalizing these females that are fucking whores, degenerates, losers, like Ruby Rose, talentless skanks, right? Talentless <laughs> fucking skanks. That's the fucking truth. Talentless skank. Been in the music industry since 2016. Had to make a fucking, uh, uh, with Amigos music video. Got a big break that no guy would ever get. What does she do? Damn. Let me make OnlyFans because I may, can't really become successful any other way. I got to fucking sexualize myself. Her and Asian doll, dumbass hoes. That's what they have to do. And I said this shit on Instagram too. Sorry, not Instagram. Twitter. I said this shit on Twitter. Yeah. I said a female, a, a man that has 10,000 followers on Instagram is the equivalent to a female with like 250K if not more. Got retweet. Even Andrew uh, retweeted it because it's the truth. Men must provide value to grow on social media. Men must provide value to have a platform on the internet. Women don't. They can literally post a dumbass picture of themselves at a beach with like a dumbass caption. Life's the beach. I'm just playing in the sand. Say some dumb shit like that. <laughs> Hundred thousand fucking likes, bro. Hundred thousand likes. They have no skill. Most of these chicks, bro. Double standard. So what I'm saying is this, guys. Where are we at? Women in general don't respect men. If you pedestalize them like these fucking idiots, they ridicule you, embarrass you on social media, right? And they did this to a guy that's paying their fucking bills. <laughs> they did this to a guy that's paying their fucking bills. If they're going to do that to him, what the fuck you think they're going to do to you? <laughs> that's what I'm telling you how to date defensively and treat, and uh, yo, you literally got to be out here fucking, I, I, I keto these hoes, man, because 
they have such a they, they have such an advantage in the dating marketplace, and they have such a data uh, advantage with social media and everything else. You got to come in correct. You got to go in with your eyes wide open. That's why these tricons are saying, just be a gentleman. Chivalry is the way to go. Marry that girl. Yeah, she deserves the world. You can't do that shit no more. You can't. <laughs> if they're over here disrespecting fans that pay their fucking bills, what the fuck you think she's going to do to you? <laughs> Seriously. Why women deserve less? I don't give a fuck if you, have to, if you get the book. Just understand this. Okay? I don't even promote the book like that. But I made the book because of shit like this. I'm tired of watching men get shit on. I'm tired of looking at guys like this dude that clearly needs fucking help, but now he's going viral for being a fucking simp because some dumbass slut thought it would be cool to embarrass a motherfucker on the internet that spent money on her and is paying her bills, bro. The fucking gall and audacity of her to do this. She's a shitty fucking person for doing this shit. All she had to do was withhold those text messages, say thank you, I appreciate it, block his ass, whatever the fuck it is, and be done. But instead, what does she do? She goes to Twitter, she embarrasses him, makes him look wild, puts his picture out there, now everyone's laughing at him. She didn't have to fucking do that. But she's a shitty ass person. And here's the thing, I got the dirt on her. I know a girl that used to live in her fucking building. She's a piece of fucking shit. Treats the staff poorly, fucking caused an altercation with her boyfriend, Lil TJ, downstairs, etc. I got the fucking dirt on her, man. Terrible person, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. When you do shit like this for clout and internet, uh, for um, internet fame, whatever, to ridicule a guy that might not be all the way there, that spent a bunch of money on you, that fucking loves you, clearly something's wrong with this nigga, but still for you to do that shit to him, crazy, bro. Shitty fucking person. Shitty fucking person. So you made a good point. Um, she blasted him, putting it everywhere on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, it was going viral. But we forgot to mention why she didn't actually withhold it. Two reasons. One, she wants the clout, 100%. That's mm -hmm. pretty obvious. But two is, guarantee, bro, right now, either in her phone or from her past, she's going to win more money from guys, either up front or in the long run. So to her, it's like, you know what? 100K is fine, whatever. I don't need it. I got many That's many abundance more. mindset. So now, yep. abundance mindset, yep. oh, you know what? This is funny. I got some clout. I'm um, posting shit. Yep. But I'm sure there's NBA players, football players out there giving her a hell of money too as well. Yeah. So I think on some level, I get why she did it with him because obviously speaking, she don't care fuck, fuck about him. But two, she's many other options out there giving her money. But you know it's what's sad, crazy? It's sad. You know what's crazy? Yeah. There's a there's a Twitter called Women Posting L's. Mm. Let me and I and I really want the audience to understand this. I shit. know this, man. Huh? I know what this, bro. It's hilarious. <laughs> thinking, bro. I, I follow it, nigga. That shit's awesome. <laughs> so I'll be retweeting them niggas all the time. <laughs> Women posting L's, man. That shit is funny <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> but this is why. But this is why I say this. Mm. Ruby Rose posted that shit thinking it makes her look good. It doesn't. It makes her look fucking like a shitty ass person. It makes her look fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. But this is the problem. Why do we have Ruby Rose posting? A conversation, a private conversation with an individual that pays her money, a fan, right? Why do we have women going on TikTok talking about how they got a guy that goes to them? Why do we got women on TikTok saying, oh yeah, I'm 35 and I'm single and they use like some dumbass mashup shit to show themselves living their single life, traveling all over the world to cope for the fact that they're fucking 40 years old and still single and got cats, right? Why do we have women just out there posting shit on the internet mm -hmm. of themselves doing stupid shit but thinking that it's a W? You want to know why? Because we don't tell women the truth. You're a fucking idiotic moron whore and you can't lock down a guy. You need to make better life choices. We don't tell women the truth, which is why they have the gall to post the shit on the internet that they do. Could you imagine if any of us walked around and posted on TikTok? Yeah, man. I went on this date with this chick. Spent a bag. Damn, man. But I ain't getting no pussy, man. She just like took the food and went home. And she just said, later. <laughs> and we put that shit on TikTok. Bro, we'd be viral <laughs> tomorrow. People yeah. would be roasting us. It'd be a wrap, right? Yeah. But girls get on TikTok. Oh, so I went out with this guy. And, you know, we had a date. I thought he really liked me. And, blah, 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 and he just stopped contacting me. I don't know what to do. But women are totally okay with posting their L's on the internet or doing the dumb shit on the internet because it's no one checks them. With men, there's checks and balances. We tell each other, you're a pussy, you're fat, you're a loser, you're incompetent. We ridicule each other for inadequacies. Women don't do that shit. They don't, right? And to be honest with y'all, 
The only time I ever see girls like really get held accountable for anything mm -hmm. is if they come on this on podcast, podcast or sometimes some of y'all I see people post on uh <laughs> on Instagram. Thank yeah. God, think Instagram is getting pretty more base. Like girls will post stupid shit on there. Yeah, niggas be commenting. Niggas be commenting there, roasting them on the reels. That shit is fucking hilarious. It's the niggas from Hoodville, bro. Yeah. The niggas from Hoodville, they don't play, bro. Yo, I they love be it. Roasting I love them, it. Bro. Slowly they be roasting them back, which Shut is great. Man. Uh, which which is great. Yeah. But in general, on social media, mm -hmm. Women don't get held accountable for their shit, bro. Which is why Ruby Rose thought it was appropriate to post this shit. Yeah. You know? So, um, all this post does, to me, I think it's a big L that she posted this. Like, bro, you're a shitty fucking person. This guy clearly has issues. Mm -hmm. And you're over here posting this shit thinking, oh, let me show how desperate this guy is. You saved him in your phone as a, in a, a degrading name. Like, bro, even if he's weird. Just block him and be done with it. Why are you posting it on the internet? What the fuck is wrong with you, you stupid skank? Clap. And I hope she sees this shit. Yo, I hope Ruby Rose sees this shit. You're a fucking dumb whore. You're a skank. You're a loser. You didn't have to post that shit, but you did anyway because you're a clout-chasing, irrelevant slut. That's why you did that dumb shit. Ridiculous. Ridiculous that you would even do that shit. Like, why? What the fuck is wrong with you? This nigga gave you 100K. If you're that mad... Block him and move on. I'm not surprised. Fucking I mean, weirdo, man. I mean, uh, honestly, bro, like, in this case, even though he is messed up in the head and she, her, she, and she posted it, look at it this way. Her doing this is going to tell other girls, okay, I can do this too. Yeah. And the problem is, once yeah. you start doing that and going on that path of exposing guys like that, bro, now you're creating a whole culture. Actually, you know what's weird about this? Some guy out there will say, you know what? I could beat that. I'll pay more money, which is crazy, by the way. Yeah, that might happen too as well. So, but either way, that powerful person is. And here's up. the other thing too: like women don't get it. Like, yo, some niggas are crazy. Like yeah. you think uh, posting this shit and exposing, oh yeah, this is funny. <laughs> like you're an idiot. Why would you do that? Like if if he's if he's mentally unstable like this, doing this shit, yo, why would you post that? Someone commented and said the same money you got from him, he has to spend on security now. <laughs> he's out your ass. He's gonna be out your ass, bro. But it, it's true though. Like you know, I, obviously I wish nothing uh, you know on her, but yeah. like bro, you can't do dumb shit like this. Yeah. <sighs> the fuck is wrong with people, bro? And like you I, and the thing to me, thank you, man. But like yo. Like and the thing is too is that like like she thinks this is a W. Like, no, this is an L. Like, th you posting this is a L. You're already an L for being on OnlyFans. You're a fucking sex worker, all right? <laughs> You're a failed musician <laughs> sex worker, all right? You got your break by being in a music video and not saying a word, nigga. So mm -hmm. clearly no one cares about you, mm -hmm. okay? But what do you do? Oh, I need to be relevant. Let me go ahead and put this fucking guy down that spent a bunch of money on me, put it on the internet, and make him look crazy. No. You played yourself, you dumb whore. You made yourself look fucking crazy because you're the one on OnlyFans accepting money from weirdo niggas like him. Okay? You would not be in this situation with weirdo guys coming after you and sending you texts and following you at the mall or whatever the fuck because you can tell in that picture that she's very uncomfortable. Yeah. Right? If you didn't put yourself in a position of being a sex worker. So the lesson here today, um, we've seen the text messages. We've seen... The pictures, the tattoos, we've seen the Twitter posts. I think uh, for most guys here, uh, obviously this is not you. This will probably never be you, hopefully. Um, but you can see here how if you do these things, you may get exposed. And the problem with this is that like, in any matter of fact, if you're giving somebody money that doesn't care about you, obviously they don't care about you enough to say, hey, you know what? I don't respect, I won't post this because, eh, I care about them. But since they don't care about their fans, like how you think they do, they're going to finesse you expose you exploit you and luckily for him um she's putting it out there so maybe he could stop but who knows maybe he has a mental problem where he can't stop i would just say ruby rose man if you're about this lifestyle which i know you are and you want to be this clout demon as, as you say like this makes it look really bad like Marin said um and then it's going to encourage other girls to do the same thing and as a as a by factor of that look at look at our tiktok many girls post it to get boosted in the algorithm make men look bad all this stuff and it's it just sad, man. I mean, how do we combat this? How do we ever like get over this this issue? But simps will always be there, always. Yeah, and and I and I really wanted to highlight for y'all, right? Like you guys can see here, right? Like the other girl. Notice how that white girl jumped in, like, oh, he spends money on me too. See, like th this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like to girls, it's a flex and it's funny for them to have dudes spend money on them that they don't reciprocate to. Like for girls, 
having simps, they'll never admit this shit. Dark secret. Girls will never fucking admit this shit. But they love having simps. Yeah. They fucking love it. To them, they look at it like, oh, look at all these little boys that want me, but I'm not giving them no pussy. Like, girls flex on that shit, man. Girls flex when they deny you sex. Girls flex when you sweat them. Girls flex when you spend money on them and they don't give you anything in return. Girls flex all this shit. Okay? They love it. Right? They sit there and they're like, oh, look, this guy hit me up, blah, blah, blah. Hell, y'all have seen it with us. They try to expose, look at this DM, he hit me up, blah, blah. These dumbass whores don't get it that niggas are just trying to smash. Yeah. But they sit there and they let it validate their ego, right, so they can feel better about themselves for making poor decisions and being a slut on the internet. And they're like, look at all these guys sweating me. That's what the, that that's literally how these girls are. <sighs> let me ask you something, right? Mm -hmm. I want y'all niggas to ask, I'm gonna ask y'all niggas. If you went to Brazil, it just went there with $100,000, and you fucked a bunch of hookers, but you paid every single one $1,000. Would, would, would people respect that? Would like If you went back and bragged about it, would anyone really take you seriously? No. Nope. Mo? Nope. No? Bills? No. You, uh, you know. <laughs> nice. That's exactly what it is when these dumbass hoes say, look at all these niggas sweating me. That's the equivalent to a guy... Going down to Brazil with 100K, banging a bunch of hookers, then coming back to the States like, bro, I dropped 100,000, I smashed a bunch of hookers, look at me. We don't laugh at that nigga. Are you stupid? What the fuck? You're dumb? Like, bro, yeah, what the fuck? Because it takes no skill. <laughs> it takes no skill, so it's not respected. Same exact situation with these dumbass whores. If you are somewhat attractive and you post yourself on the internet and you're able to scale and put yourself out there and a bunch of niggas are sweating you, congratulations, you dumb slut. Dudes are always going to hit on you. That's not a skill. But here's the real skill. Can you keep the fucking guy that you actually want back? The answer's a profound no for nope. a lot of you sluts. That's why you're on fucking Twitter talking shit about, look at him, he spent money on my fucking OnlyFans. But you're a lo but you got OnlyFans, <laughs> but you're lonely at the end of the day. You're a lonely fan. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, these dumbass sluts, man. They're, that's the reality. <laughs> but they sit there and they will flex dudes spending money on them. That's why I tell you guys, stop watching porn. Stop subscribing to OnlyFans. Stop giving girls attention and money that don't fucking reciprocate and don't give you any love and attention back. Fuck these whores. What's wrong with y'all niggas? Stop giving them money, time, and attention if they're not giving you what you want, man. I want all you guys that are watching this podcast right now. You're probably sitting here watching it with maybe a girl, that maybe your girlfriend or some shit, or maybe you got a girl that you're trying to fucking get with or whatever. I want you to seriously assess in your mind every single girl that you're talking to right now or you're dealing with, is she giving you what you want? Intimacy, romance, and sex, or is, is, or is she bullshitting you? If she's bullshitting you, I want you to block her now. I want you to get rid of her now. If you're hanging out with her right now as we speak and she still haven't, hasn't given you sex, <laughs> I'm talking to you, bitch. Get the fuck out the house. You better suck this nigga's dick right now after the show's done because this shit is starting to get ridiculous. I got to start telling these hoes for you niggas to stop fucking so you can stop simping and giving these hoes free attention. This shit is starting to get ridiculous. There's nothing that pisses me off more than looking at a guy Especially a guy that's earned a lot of money, built himself up, got himself to a point. Because this guy clearly did something right. He invested in crypto at the right time, probably made a couple mills, uh, a couple million. He's a smart guy to some degree. He was able to make that money. Idiots don't make that kind of money, right? But then you got this talentless skank putting him all over the internet, embarrassing him, right? Some of you guys here make money, successful, working on your grind, got some dumbass bimbo stringing you along. And you're sitting there thinking, oh, man, I'm just going to get the box. No, fuck that shit. If you're with a chick right now or talking to a chick, whatever, she's not giving you what you want, you have my permission. Kick that bitch to the curb. Go find another girl. Turn her Goku into transmission into some other bitch that's going to like you. Because I'm telling you guys, there's a girl out there for you somewhere. Get your value up. Get your money up. Get in the gym. And trust me. You will be able to find a girl, but stop giving attention and resources to hoes that don't respect you. If they don't reciprocate, you will not sit there and re give them shit back. Fuck that. They got to reciprocate, man. Half these girls aren't giving y'all shit, and you guys are over here, oh, let me simp, let me give them money, let me give them time, let me give them attention, blah, blah, blah. Fuck these hoes, man. Deal with girls that like you back only, bro. Reciprocation is key. Reciprocation is key. Repeat after me. Reciprocation is key. 
<laughs> if she doesn't reciprocate, it's time to evacuate. All right? <laughs> if she does not reciprocate, it's time to evacuate. Okay? <laughs> All you niggas watching right now, we got 13,000 y'all in here between Rumble and YouTube. If she does not reciprocate, you will evacuate. Kick these bitches to the curb if they're not helping you in your life to some degree, man. Stop simping. <sighs> right. W. Rent. Man, W. Rent. It's just like, bro, it shit gets me so fucking mad, bro. Like, it's just like ridiculous. Yeah, you're very invested. Um, But just to bring this full circle as well, I think on some level... Lesson learned here as well, guys. We talk about all the, all the time on the show. You can have money, you can have su success, but with no frame, they will walk all over you. Now, obviously, this guy has to be take, taken accountable to as well because he literally set up this whole thing and he actually gave her the money. So as a man, he made the choice to do this, so it's L for him. But in retrospect as well, if you look at it from the long-term effects, what did Ruby Rose do? She literally just showed the world and flexed on the world that, hey, he's paying me this money. She just, she just created so many OnlyFans girls off of that one post it's, it's insane and girls think it's cute they're gonna do the same thing as her oh i ain't going only fans now for this guys for this, this much money oh i'm in so we had a, a mass amount of girls doing only fans before i imagine now with her uh iggy zillia who else um these other girls posting this only fans shit uh bad bad barbie whatever her name was it just another talentless it, it just shows that like this is spreading and if we as men enabled this by being the simps that pay for it who's losing here us so on some level if you're watching this and you're sent bro get some help bro uh, please get some help because if you don't get help bro you're perpetuating and pushing this to other people and as a result you paying for only fans encourage them to do more so just stop it bro just stop it for real honestly <sighs>